Hello. Okay, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to be a Bed Wars Sweat. First of all, you gotta have a really OG, original, short name, like, Jeesh. Second of all, you have to be a part of like a, a, a cool guild, N not Lasaga, that's, that's our guild. Um, like, legit, that's a cool, that's a cool guild, it's right, oh, it's, it's that skin. Second of all, you have to have an ego skin, it's high required. There we go. Perfect. Eagle skin acquired. Next step. You gotta have a cringe, sweaty setup. That means you gotta have a mechanical keyboard with lights. You gotta have like a microphone stand. You gotta have a Model O mouse with lights in it. And you also have to have at least two monitors. Whoa. <laughs> and finally for the setup, you need to have a gamer chair. You're not a bed wall sweat if you don't have a gamer chair. You have to be using a client, a client, and the best client really is bad line because you can do this. That's literally all I like about it. Um, but there are others. There's Luna, there's Lounge, and that's all I can think of because I literally don't know any other clients. Apparently Luna has better FPS, but who cares? In bad line, you can Fortnite dance. I'm pretty sure that's it. So without further ado, let's get into a game. Sheesh, take it away. Okay, now that we're in a lobby, you have to just stand there, stare off into the distance, and spam left click. You have to do this all throughout the game, and you have to do this in life. As soon as you walk into the game, you hold down S, and you go straight into the generator. You also know how many iron you need to rush, like 12. Oh my gosh, it's a 48 rush, we gotta go! Um, I actually have no idea which way I'm going. You have to only put one layer of defense. And if you don't like one layer of defense, you only you don't put any defense on. You also know how to speed bridge. By the way, I have no idea how to speed bridge. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. To identify bed wall sweat, they can't be flat bridging. They have to be tall. They have to be really tall Minecraft players. Alright, I'm going to go try and... Take this guy's bed defense. I just fell again. When you fall, you have to say, I'm bad. Even though that you're not. You gotta like, God bridge, but I, I don't know how to do it. I seriously don't know how to do it. Ah! And then, and then you go over here, and you place blocks underneath you to like, save you from taking any fall damage whatsoever. You have to do it. And then, possibly the most annoying one yet. You have to break the bed and place back the defense. This is totally not a purple thing. This is what every bed will sweat does. So as you can see, I'm intimidating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I actually hit him off. <laughs> when you're on a bridge, you have to place blocks in front of you and you have to stack up, be really tall and they end up hitting you anyway, but that's okay. That's okay. Yep, exactly it. And when all is lost, you stand on top of your bed fence and you just you just you just spam A and D really loud in your mechanical keyboard and you just try and hit him. 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 Whilst you're in the bed walls lobby, you look at the leaderboard and you dream of being on the leaderboard. Just like Game of Boy 80. Okay, into our second game of bed wars. We remove the compass from our inventory. And we get into gaming. Whilst in epic PvP battles, you know exactly what your hotkeys are. You don't use the scroll wheel, what's that? Am I right? So, if someone comes up to you and tries to kill you, you're, you're gonna hotkey, you're gonna hotkey to your, your blocks, and if they hit you off, you're gonna block clutch. Ready, 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 ready? Oh, he hit me too far! <laughs> oh, look how many blocks I placed! That was so cool, am I right? That's a new record of four blocks placed. Speaking of hockeys, when you're in the middle of an epic PvP battle. Ah, come at me, bro. Oh gosh. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna block clutch like that. That was just me walking off the map. <laughs> you're gonna do an epic block clutch. 
just like that and then you're gonna realize your replay mod is on so you can look back in the footage and add to your epic block clutch montage to add on YouTube because everyone cares about how many blocks you can blocks you can clutch another way of identifying a bed war sweat is that they flex their final kills and their bed destruction as you can see if he hits me off hit me off hit me off Okay, now that we're out of a, uh, now that we're out of one of our Bed Wars games, you go check Discord, and you see all of your friends with the same flipping profile picture. What the heck? Why do you always have the same profile picture? It's just your skin in front of like the sky or something. Why? But who cares about Discord? We want to play more Bed Wars. Instead of just walking over to the to the player, you've memorized all of the commands, so you don't have to even move. How lazy are you? Play Bed Wars underscore. Eight, one, and bam, you're in. Time to just stare off into the distance and left click. Also, another thing with the Bedwars Sweat is they have cosmetics. Everyone who buys cosmetics for this block game is a sweat. I'm, I'm sorry. You spent money on Bad Lion. What are you doing? Okay, for this map, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. But since I'm a sweat, I know that I need uh, eight blocks. That means 32 blocks I meant. Uh, okay. And you're just gonna go rush the next team directly opposite you and not fail your bridging because you're a bed wall sweat and you play this 24 hours a day and you know every single way of bridging and how to. I, I don't have enough blocks. Another thing that bed wall sweats do in lobbies is quit. Oh, that was really bad timing. Another way of knowing if you're a bed wall sweat is that. If the bed wars lobbies don't have eight people straight away, you are impatient. You just go play bed wars eight one again, and you wait for a lobby which has a full game in it. Um, shut up, crow! Because in bed wars, you really can't shut up. Whenever you're facing someone on a bridge, you have to stack up. You have to stack up and be so much taller than them. Because in bed wars, height is the advantage. Now. If they, if they hit you off, or if you go back, you want to disconnect and reconnect. And that will make it faster? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why Bedwall Sweats do it, but they just have to disconnect, reconnect. It's a sweaty thing they do, and he's going to drop on me. He's going to get probably get TNT or something. He's mad. He's mad. He, I, I, I broke his bed. Also, I, I noticed Bedwall Sweats usually have, like, particles. Eh, particles are kind of like, ugly. Alright, easy kill. Easy. Also you have to shout easy in the chat. It's just a part of it's just a part of it's just a part of the game, man. It's illegal if you don't say easy. Oh, he's gonna TNT jump. Another thing that Bedwall Sweats do is TNT jump and actually quite good at it, but that guy wasn't. Um also when whilst you're on a bridge, if you wanna know what these guys are doing, instead of turning your mouse or just doing that. You're lazy, you don't want to do that. You press R, and then you look. See? That's so much more efficient, isn't it? Not really. Not really at all. The thing is, I'm not a bed wall sweat. So, <laughs> by trying to show you the things that they do in this game is actually incredibly difficult for me. And finally, I'm on to the last couple of bed wars sweat characteristics that I always see. So, for instance, if you've run out of blocks or something like that, what you're going to do is TNT jump. Ready, spaghetti, go! Oh my gosh, that was terrible! Okay, that never happened. Let me try that again. I'm a, I'm a legend with the TNT jumping, as you can see. Perfection. Perfection. No health lost at all. Oh, he killed me. Uh, and finally, I think this is the last couple of characteristics I could think of. Trust me, guys. The list for this video I made is, like, over two pages long. Um is that they use the abbreviated versions of all of the words. I just hit that guy towards my bed defense. W tap. Oh wow, I'm so bad. For instance, they use the words like obby, uh, M's, dyers, short for diamonds. I really don't understand that. So there you have it. That's all I've got for how to be a bed wall sweat. I'm sure you guys have plenty of more um, ideas. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important. I've got the most important step. You voice crack every five seconds. Your voice cracks are higher than Mount Everest. Ah!